Hello, welcome back. Trust you are able to learn one or two things in my previous lesson. I really appreciate you all. In this lesson, we'll be discussing the if function in Excel. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across different situations where we need to choose or make a decision based on the options available. Every decision we make or need to need to make will be an if statement. For instance, now, do I have sales data for the month? If yes, I can prepare the dashboard. Another one is, for instance, now, if the meeting is over, then I will leave the office early. If I leave the office early, can I go to movie with my friend? Now, those statements I made earlier now, the if function has already occurred in it. Now, in this situation, I'm trying to compare two things with the if statement. Now, the comparison operators we use in if statement, we have greater than, less than, equals to, not equals to, greater than or equals to, less than or equals to. Those operators now, we will make use of them with the aid of example. Now, let's apply the formula to the real life situation. If we look at what we have here now, we have the student's name. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Now, and the scores, the mark scores. Now, we want to calculate their results using the if function now. Now, how do we do that now? Let's apply our formula. Equals to if. Now, what's our logical test? This is our logical test. This, we want to work on the work. The mark scores. Greater than or equals to. Now, if 67 is greater than or equals to, now let's peg it as, let's say 65, comma, now, in double quotes, let's put pass. comma, otherwise, double quotes, fail, close the brackets, now, what we simply have here is that what? If anything, what we have in what? In this color in, in cell C3 now is if it is greater than 65, that means it should grade it as pass. But if it is less than 65, it should grade it as what? As fail. Click on enter. Can you see now? Now, it has actually grade what we have in what? Cell C3 as what? As pass. Because it is beyond what? 65. Assuming we, what we have in cell C3 now is less than what 65 now, it will actually grade it as what? As fail. Now, to do for the rest now, you can just bring your cursor here, just double click or drag it down. Now, it's actually what? Apply the formula to the rest of the column. Now, let's check the formula before we proceed to the next thing now. You can see now, we have 69 here now. This actually says what? 69 is passed. Now, we paid the pass mark to be 65, right? So, you can see now 69 is passed, 78 is passed, 52 is failed, 35 is failed, 89 is passed, 96 is passed, 92 is passed, 75 is passed, while 35 is failed. Now, let's proceed to another example now. If you look at this question too now, in this scenario, it's quite different from what we did in the first example now. We have the serial number to be, let me check, the serial number to be 120, from 1 to 120 names. Can you see now? I don't want to use shift control arrow down. And we have, we have 120 names. We have the, these are exam scores over 65, midterm, that's the, the midterm score over 20, the first year or or uh, second CA, that's 15, that's 35 plus 65, that's, that makes it over 100 here now. Now, let's just use our sum formula here now to calculate the exam scores and the midterm and the CA. So, we will now apply our if function on the grade and the comments. Now, equals to sum, click on the formula. Now, bring your cursor here. Shift Control arrow down. Can you see now? Close the bracket. Click on Enter. 
it has actually calculated for the what exam this time and this year now you can just bring your cursor here now double click on it now it has actually what did for the rest shift control arrow down sorry shift control arrow up can you see now this is the last one now it has actually calculate for the exam and the midterm and the ca Now let's grade their scores now. Their scores for the CA, midterm, and the exam now. Now we, to grade their scores now, we we'll apply our if function now. Let me increase the cell length a bit. Now equals to if. Now click on it. What we have here. These are logical text now. Is greater than. Now, sorry, before I proceed now. To grade it now, we'll be using this. This tape now to. To calculate our grade and the comments now. Now, we said 80 to 100 is A. 70 to 79 is B. 60 to 69 is C. 55 to 59 is D. Now, 50 to 54 now. That's E pass 0 to 49 that's a fail now let's apply it here now equals to if now let's apply it here click on it hey sorry equals to if click on it now our logical test will be what in uh, Adebayo actually uh, Adebayo Ismail actually scored over 100. Now let's use greater than or equals to that is if 65, what we have in what in cell A15, if it is greater than or equals to if it is greater than or equals to 80. That means if it is greater than or equals to 80. Now, if what we have in cell F15 now, if it's greater than or equals to 80 now, comma, now, grade in or R, uh, sorry, double quotes, A, A, comma, if click on it now you open under bracket is greater than or equals to now the next one is what that's 70 comma now grading b If our logical test is greater than or equals to sixty, comma grade double quotes. Sorry, let me use capital letter. C, comma, if what we have here is greater than or equals to fifty five, comma, grading more a d double quote, close the bracket, double quote. Now, when you are using the if function, those uh, alphabets you use must always be in what? Quotation. Take notes. Comma. All the words you use must always be in quotation. Take note of that. If. Cell F15 is greater than or equals to. 
comma double quote d okay sorry that's e close the quotes comma now the last one is f you can just double quote put the f in quotes that's all now how many bracket do we open now this is one bracket two three four five that's five brackets one two three four five click on enter can you see now our formula is actually working now can you see now now Adibayo Ismail has what? Overall, that's over 100. Adibayo Ismail has 62.25 over 100. Now, it has actually what? The command we put here now, in this center, it has actually grade Adibayo Ismail as what? As C. His scores fall in the category of what? Grade C now. From this table now. Can you see now? 60 to 69 is what? C. That's very good. Now, if I bring my cursor here now, if I double click on it, it has actually calculated for the what? For the rest. Now, shift control arrow down. Sorry, shift control arrow up. Now, let me bring my cursor here. Shift control arrow down. Can you see now? It has actually calculate for the rest. Those that has A, they are the ones that score 80 above. Those that has B, they are the ones that score 60, sorry, 70 and above. 60 to 69 is C. Y, 55. Those that score 55 to 59. Now, let me scroll down now. Let me bring my cursor here now. You can see now. This one falls in the category of this one falls in the category of D because those are 55 to 59 is what is D. Why 60 to 65 is what is C. Can you see now? Now, definitely our formula is actually working. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? So that's that. Now, for this comment section now, we'll be using this grid to determine our comments now. Now, that will be, we'll use this. Let me bring my cursor here now. We'll be using A and A now. A is excellent. B is distinction. C is very good. D is good. E is pass and F is fair. We'll be using this grade A now. If we actually get this grade now, we'll, now those that have A, that will be excellent. Those that have B will be distinction. Those that have C is very good. D, good. E, pass and F is fair. We'll be using this grade to determine this comment now. Now let's start. Let's proceed. Sorry, let me bring my cursor. Let me bring my cursor here now. Equals to if now click on it. Now G15 is equals to double quotation A. Close the quotation, comma. Now don't forget. Since you are dealing with words now, you put it in quotation or alphabet. Now, if G, what we have here, is equals to A, that means grade it what? And if the grade is A, now give an, give the M or R, double quotation, excellent. Comma. Else, if click on it, what we have here, what this logical text, these are logical text, is equals to B. Now, double quotation B, close it, comma. Now, double quote distinction. If it is B, give it what distinction. comma else if if it is is equals to what double quotes c 
let me use capital letter double quotes comma give it is c give it what very good very good comma now if it is if sorry if click on it what we have here is equals to that's d now sorry in quotation d quotation comma now what's our d double quotes good now if what we have here is equals to double quotes e now comma give it what double quotes pass double quotes comma instead of since f we can just put this f here now as can just bring double quotes else fail how many bracket do we open now one two three four five one two three four click on enter now can you see now can you see the formula is actually working now now 60 to 69 that's what that's c can you see now it falls in the category of what of c very good that's the comment now if i bring my cursor here now it has actually what that's actually do for the rest now the formula has actually applied for all the empty cells now. Can you see it now? Can you see the last one now? 70 to 70.45. That 70 to 79 is what distinction. Can you see it? It's actually working. So our formula is actually correct. Now that's how to use the if function in Excel. Now, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I believe you are able to learn one or two things in this lesson. Now, in this lesson, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. In the next lesson, we'll be discussing another topic. See you all in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the subscribe button. And also click on the notification bell. Once I drop a new video, you get notified. And also like my videos. Thank you. I really appreciate you all. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.